Welcome to Medicine Avio. In this video, we will discuss about metastasis. Now, what is metastasis? Metastasis is basically the transfer of a tumor from one site to another and the site to where it spreads is not in a physical contact with the primary tumor site that is the site from which the tumor has spread. Now we will discuss about the various routes by which metastasis can spread, how the cancer cells spread. Number one, it can spread by seeding of body cavities like peritoneal cavity and pleural cavity. See, the pleural cavity and the peritoneal cavity are basically the empty cavities situated in the body in which the organs lie. So the cancer cells can very easily spread into the peritoneal cavity and the pleural cavity. A very good example of seeding of pleural cavity would be lung carcinoma which can very easily spread from the lungs into the pleural cavity which surrounds the lungs. The next route to be discussed is lymphatic spread. Now the tumor cells can very easily and in fact most commonly spread by the lymphatic route and this can spread it to the lymph nodes in the body and where are the lymph nodes situated like the supraclavicular lymph nodes like the mediastinal lymph nodes a very good example of a lymphatic spread would be breast cancer in which carcinoma from one side of the breast to another side breast spreads by the internal memory nodes which were situated just in between the two breasts. The next route to be discussed is the hematogenous spread. As the name suggests, it is basically spreading through the blood vessels. Now, we would like to give an example of uh, hematogenous spread. See, if there are any type of carcinoma or sarcoma in the body, it can very easily spread via the blood to the organs where blood reaches the most or which organs are uh, highly perfused in the body. For example, the liver, the kidney, this organ receives a very tremendously high amount of blood compared to the other organs in the body. So, these tumors tend to spread to the liver, the kidney and the lungs, that is the organs which receive blood the most. Now, we will discuss about the hematogenous spread in details. Suppose this is the basement membrane and what is the basement membrane? Basement membrane is the membrane onto which the epithelial cells lie. It is basically a separation between the extracellular matrix and the epithelial cells. This is the extracellular matrix which lies beneath the basement membrane and this is the blood vessel which will be the main epicenter for the hematogenous spread. And these cute little tiny things are actually very dangerous. These are actually the tumor cells. And what type of tumor are we discussing? Let's consider this as a epithelial tumor. And these epithelial tumor cells are lying on the basement membrane. Next what happens? These cute little tiny tumor cells 
are connected to each other or let's say they bind to each other by holding hands and these hands are known as cadherins. These are a special type of protein which help these epithelial cells to bind to each other normally. But since this is a tumor cell, something dangerous is going to happen. That is, these cadherins, they become non-functional in tumor cells. Now, what happens as a consequence of this? The cells become loose from each other and they tend to fly away from their original site. Okay, so they are now free to move and they are not held to one another with the help of cadherins. Next what happens is these tumor cells they secrete a type of protein enzyme known as matrix metalloproteinases and what is the function of this matrix metalloproteinases or MMPs in short? The function of this is to break down the basement membrane and the extracellular matrix. So after it breaks down the basement membrane and the extracellular matrix, what happens next is certain holes are created in the basement membrane and the extracellular matrix. And next, the epithelial cells, they tend to squeeze in through those holes and enter into the extracellular matrix and then it moves towards the blood vessel. Next, it binds onto the basement membrane. Oh wait, another basement membrane? Yes, this is the basement membrane of the blood vessel. Now, it binds to the basement membrane and it will again secrete those matrix metalloproteinases which will break down this basement membrane and next it sees this endothelial membrane. What is this endothelial cells? These cells are lining the blood vessel. So it will again break down those endothelial cells and then it will squeeze in through the holes created by this digestion and it will slowly slowly enter into the blood vessel. Next what happens is the host T lymphocytes are activated because this cell isn't supposed to be in the blood vessel. So our immune system actually activates the host T lymphocytes and these bind to the tumor cell. Next, there are platelets which bind to the tumor cell and this tumor cell now is known as an emboli. Now what's an emboli? See emboli is basically a floating clot in other words. So this emboli actually travels through the blood vessel and it comes to a new site and here it again attaches to the endothelial cell and then it secretes those matrix metalloproteinases after which it squeezes in through the holes created by the matrix metalloproteinases which digest the endothelial cells. And then tumor cell undergoes a process of extravasation. What is extravasation? It is basically this squeezing out of the tumor cell from the blood vessel into a new secondary site where it will spread. So after this extravasation process occurs, it binds to the other side and this process is completed. That is, the tumor cell is successful in reaching 
from a primary site to a secondary distant site and and the road provided for this transfer was the blood vessel factors which favor metastasis number 1 more rapidly growing tumors are favor for metastasis this means that more rapidly a tumor grows more epithelial cells or more tumor cells it can provide and the more number of tumor cells it can provide more are the chances of metastasis poor differentiation is also a reason for metastasis the more poorly differentiated a tumor cell is more chances it will metastasize also if it if the tumor is a large tumor then there are more chances of metastasis thank you for watching please like share subscribe and press the bell icon for future videos thank you